Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make a super simple rainwater harvesting device which you can make out of a bit of hose, a hose fitting, a little bit of hard plastic and a top plus maybe some strings to hang it up. Um, super easy to do in a place like Indo, you have to buy water by the gallon, it's hard to take out on a dinghy and it rains a lot so it seems to make a bit of sense just to harvest the rainwater. We had one way of doing it um, which was a bit laborious because it involved dripping it into one bucket and then pouring it and moving it but I think this will solve our problems because we'll take a hose straight from the top into it. Anyway we're gonna keep this super quick so here we go. Okay so first we've got a bit of hose that's a bit shorter than I'll use in the end but it's good to test with. Then we have some hard plastic over here See, I've taken this from a diesel fuel additive thing, but it just has to be hard enough to provide a bit of extra support to the top. And this is probably the most important bit. So this one is good because what it allows me to do, oh my God. This section here is pretty standard, can just plug straight into a hose. So this is kind of where the magic happens. It's a pretty simple part to find. All it really is, is something that allows you to sandwich the top and then we're basically just making big plastic washers to give it more support. Okay so now we have these two bits essentially what we want is just for the inside of that to go straight through there and because they're slightly see-through I can actually just put it like that and trace it through. So not perfect circles in there but that is just about right. You'll notice these are not perfectly round. I was trying to maximize uh, the area of them, but if they don't work like this, I will just round them out, which should be easy. So it's actually pretty hard to cut these little circles out. I would potentially use a very fine tooth hole saw. Oh my word, if I had such a thing. But what I found, because they're quite flexible, you can bend them like that. And with a little hacksaw, you can just cut and bend. So I got through it and that is kind of what you're looking for. So this basically is what you want to end up with. Two plastic washers plus a inlet. So this is our top, obviously not stretched perfectly right now, but that will be the low point. And as you can see, I'm just trying to make that basically the same size as that. Now this one I might try to do with a hot knife just so that the edges don't fray. So in the end, I cut them all with scissors and just use the lighter to singe the edge, but that feels fairly strong and it will be even stronger with washers on. Okay, so a little bit of wiggling later and that just about fits through. Now we could leave it like that if I thought the top was super strong, but I don't, hence the plastic washers. Now I cut everything just slightly smaller than it had to be, which is awesome because now this thread fits through perfectly and it makes a super tight fit. That is exactly what we wanted to make. As you can see, it just started raining. This is obviously lifting up now, so we'll put a weight at the bottom. That will become the low point. And we can plug a hose straight into that. How good is that? So pretty easy. Now we just take off this hose, we put that on, we connect that. Boom, nice hose. Here's our top. And there we go. Beautiful. So we'll see how many liters we get off this and they will come directly out of here. So one thing to be aware of, obviously you want this to be a low point, so I've positioned it directly above the traveler. Simply stow them on from there and boom, 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 sorted. You can see this bottom one is separating off a bit, but that's okay because the top one is now taking the pressure. So that's the important bit. If it happens to jump up, then this one will take the pressure or push this pushes down, this will spread the pressure, but right now it doesn't need to do anything. Very nice! So all in all, that was maybe about 40 minutes and super cheap, super easy, and now we get water straight into our tanks if I land from this hose a little bit. Um, that would have been even quicker if I had the right tools, including maybe a really good pair of scissors and a hot knife. Um, but we made do with what we had and yeah, worked out pretty good. I'm more than happy with that. Obviously, the amount of water you collect will be a function of the size of your top. So, um, <laughs> the rain, I guess. Um, this top's pretty small, but we've still got quite a few liters off it. Uh, we haven't 
bought one or fold up order for a couple of months now um, and we've just been using the old school way of collecting it where we drop the line down the middle um, and then put a dive weight on the end and put that into a bucket which worked pretty well um, but yeah hopefully this will work even better um, another thing once it starts raining you probably want to let it wash off for a good 10 minutes or so um, otherwise you may get a bunch of dirt in there but I'll show you something on the top it should stop a bit of dirt going in so obviously that is not completely flush so dirt might collect around there um, and anything that floats can go in but anything that is heavy will probably collect around there which should be pretty good as you can see that's now holding down quite nicely in the middle any rain will go onto here straight into there straight into the tank awesome Beauty!